Hey Carla, I'm sorry to ask, but I'm going to go out drinking after work, so would you mind making sure that dinner is ready for me when I get home? Oh, is there some kind of party or something going on tonight, Victor? Well, since tomorrow's our wedding, I figured this is my last chance to enjoy the single life, you know? So Tom arranged for a couple of other guys to come along, and we're going to have a big boys' night out. Oh, I should have guessed it was Tom. <laughs> well, in that case, you have to go out, don't you? Actually, now that you say that, though, I was going to tell you that I have dinner plans with Samantha tonight as well. Oh, so you're going out with some friends tonight as well, then? Or just Samantha? Either way, it's been forever since the two of you hung out. It really has. It seems like she's always so busy all of the time these days. This was her first open day to meet me for dinner in, like, months. So you can have your boys' night, and we'll have our girls' night. And then tomorrow, you and I are getting married. Actually, it seems that Samantha has already made reservations at some kind of fancy restaurant for us. Well then, sound like a fun night then. I guess that means that we'll both be eating tonight though, right? So let's make sure we don't get too messed up before the big day, yeah? Yes, I agree. I would hate to be hungover at my own wedding. And you make sure to take care too. I know how much Tom likes to drink, but you don't have to keep up with him. That's a good point. I'll have fun, but I won't go crazy. Sound good? Anyways... We're all going to meet up right after work, so I won't be getting back home until quite late. Got it. Okay, then. Hope you have fun. Hey, Carla. Are you there? I actually just woke up right now. I'm really sorry to do this so suddenly, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it to your wedding today. I mean, it's happening in 10 minutes. There's no way I can get ready in that time. I was wondering when I was going to hear from you. I was starting to get worried, but you're really just sleeping in? Where were you last night? I waited at the restaurant for forever, but you never came. And you weren't picking up your phone either. I know, I know. I'm so sorry about that. I actually totally forgot we had plans last night. I ended up going out with some other people to drink somewhere else. Are you serious? You really forget that we made plans together? But you were the one who invited me out in the first place. And you made these plans with me the morning of the night. We were supposed to meet up. How could you forget something like that? I'm sorry, but these things just happen, you know? I've been so busy with work and sometimes things just fly out of my head to make room for new information. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so sorry that I ended up standing you up last night. That was my bad. I know that you've been really busy lately, but does that mean you're really not going to be coming to my wedding today? I'm already over yesterday, but you're my friend and... I really wanted you to be there for me today. I know, I know, but how am I supposed to get ready for a wedding in 10 minutes? <laughs> I literally just woke up. There is no way that I'm going to be able to make it on time. You know, you can show up late. I, I really don't mind. Just as long as you end up making it for any of the wedding, I'll be happy. I really wanted you to be here to help me celebrate this moment in my life. Oh, really? <laughs> I guess I just didn't really think that th we were that close of friends. <laughs> I mean, I certainly don't feel like dragging myself out of bed just to show up to your wedding this late. Wait, what? What do you mean? I mean that I'm with a guy right now and I don't feel like kicking him out to rush to your wedding. Besides, that would be totally rude to this really cute guy. No, I mean, do you not consider me a good friend, Samantha? Also, is this guy you're with right now the reason that you canceled our plans last night? No, he's just some cutie I picked up at the bar last night, but I didn't invite him out or anything like that. Well, I say some cutie, but I guess I should just say Victor, huh? Man, he really is a good-looking guy, though. Wait, Victor? What do you mean by that? Aw, Carla, I'm afraid to say that neither I nor your fiancé is going to be showing up to your wedding today. In fact, you might as well cancel the whole thing right now, because I slept with your fiancé. <laughs> Hold on, I don't understand. What's going on here? What do you mean you slept with Victor? I mean just that. I took Victor home with me last night, and we had sex. Has no one really even noticed that our fiancé isn't there 10 minutes before things are supposed to start? I... Aww, I really am so sorry that I had to go and do that. Poor Victor had a bit too much to drink last night, and he's been in the bathroom since this morning. 
You can call him all you want, but I doubt he's going to notice or want to answer in the state that he's in. What? So you're really telling the truth about all of this then? I thought that Victor went out drinking with a couple of guy friends. Why would they let him go with you? It doesn't make any sense. Well, he was out with friends when I just happened to end up at the same bar. It really was all a coincidence. I guess we both just got so caught up with each other that we forgot all about you. But yeah, I walked into the bar and saw Victor there, walked up to his group and asked if I could join in. I mean, there was no way I could let a chance like this go by. A chance like that? What do you even mean by that? Well, the truth is that I've always been attracted to Victor. He's handsome and tall, and I hear he's filthy rich too. He's the perfect catch. I knew that I had to make him mine if it was the last thing I did. I don't even know what to say! And to think I ran into him on the day before his wedding. Sometimes the universe really does love you. I think that Victor must have felt the same about me since after he drunk a ton, he told me that he always liked me. Victor told you that he liked you? Are you kidding me? Of course I'm not. He said that and I knew then that I had the green light. I mean, he never ever used to notice me. Like, do you remember the barbecue that he had last summer that everyone showed up to? I think that was when I first fell in love with him, even if he had no idea who I was. You have got to be kidding me, right? No, I mean, that was the first time that I ever had seen someone so handsome. I knew right then that I just had to make him mine. So I stuck around until his friends had left Victor alone at the bar, and then I invited him back to my place. And then, well, I'm sure you can guess what happens after that. I don't even want to imagine it. How can this be happening? I had no idea that you felt so strongly about him. But how could you do this to me on the day before I was supposed to marry him? Well, you were going to find out sooner or later, so better that I told you than someone else. But you really didn't think anything was up when your fiancé still hasn't ever show up? I mean, you've tried calling him when he wouldn't answer, right? What more proof do you need that I'm telling the truth about being with him right now? Don't you get it? He chose me over you! No, that can't be! I refuse to believe it! <laughs> I knew that you would act like this! But are you really even that surprised? I mean, it's obvious that I'm the cuter one out of us both. I still don't understand how someone hasn't snatched me up yet, much less how you were going to get married before me. But now, I'm going to marry my perfect man and I'll have the best husband out of all my friends. How can you even say something like that? I mean, were you really never happy that I was going to be getting married? Why would I ever be happy about something like that, huh? I was always hoping that something was going to happen and that the engagement was going to fall apart. We might have been good friends in college, but lately, all you've been doing is really getting on my nerves. Unlike you, I actually did something with my life after college. Ever since you left town for the big city though, you are always acting like you're way better than us poor little townies. Well, how does it feel to be on the other end of this now, hmm? What do you mean? Was I really acting that way? I promise that I never meant to. You think that just because you found a good job that pays well, that you could just lord it all over the rest of us, huh? You buy your expensive personal trainer, your designer makeup, your fancy clothes, all to run in our face what poor little bumpkins we are, huh? Do you really think that that's what I was trying to do? It was never about that. I was only ever trying to be the person that I wanted to be. But, but I never ever was trying to put anyone down while doing that. Oh, please. You really thought that you could escape your roots? I know who you are deep down. You can try to be yourself all you want. There's only one true you, and it's inescapable. And it's the fact that you never could realize that made me so mad. But that's not right. You've got it all wrong. Oh, please. You think I'm going to buy that when you dared try to get married before me? It was someone who was just my type too? If you thought that I was going to let you get away with that, you're dead wrong. And now I've done it. I've ruined your wedding and stopped it from ever happening. <laughs> uh, you know what I think, Samantha? I think that you made plans and then canceled last minute on purpose. And I don't think that you just happened to bump to Victor either. 
I think that this was your plan all along. Ah, uh, aw, do you really think a sweet, innocent girl like me would be capable of doing something so devious? Because you would be right on the money if you did. <laughs> and now, I've gotten what I always wanted. You're right. In fact, I'm crushed about everything that you've just said. And the fact that you came up with a whole plot to try and steal Victor from me? I had no idea you wanted to sabotage my wedding so badly. Well, you better wipe up your tears and tell everyone that the wedding is off. After all, you can't have a wedding with no groom. You better start packing up to go home because it's all over. I won. <laughs> Except that my fiancé is standing right here next to me. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, the wedding isn't cancelled and everything is going according to schedule. But anyways, have a nice life, I guess. Glad to know that you were never really my friend. I'm sorry I had to end like this, but I'm glad to know the truth. Now, hold on just a second. What do you mean that everything is going according to schedule? And how can your fiancé be standing there next to you if he's here at my place right now? You're not making sense at all. Well, maybe I can explain this. Since I am, after all, right here with Kyla. Wait, what is this? I just think that this is all going to be explained easier if I do the talking. I actually really did have a fun time talking and drinking with you last night, but I never had any intentions of marrying you. And I also never ever told you that I liked you. What's going on here? Is this some kind of joke or something? This is Victor, right? I, I don't get it. Why are you texting me from Carla's number? You're supposed to be here in my room right now. What's happening? I got you drunk last night and you told me that you've always liked me. You asked me out on a date. I'm afraid that you were mixing me up for one of my friends. I was the other guy sitting at the table. Wait, I slept with one of your friends? Yeah, it was my buddy Tom. And you were the one who told him that you always liked him. Do you really not remember any of this at all? What do you mean? Of course I remember. I remember you telling me that you always liked me. You did it in a bar in front of your friends and you were really, really serious. That's the whole reason why I lied about inviting Carla out in the first place. I mean, I did think that it was weird running into you all dressed up at a bar where we were at. Especially since Carla told me that she had planned to grant dinner with you that night. I got even more suspicious when you started ordering really strong drinks for me. So I went up to the bar and asked them for water down anything they gave me. You did? But I didn't know about that. Yeah, I did it in a way that you wouldn't notice. Except I didn't do the same for Tom, and he just kept getting drunker and drunker. And then by the end of the night, you two were practically all over each other. But you weren't the one that I was all over? I thought that it was you. Well, it wasn't. It was my buddy that you were flirting with the whole time. You confessed to him, and he said that he always liked you. But I... No, that can't be right. I swear that I said all that to you. Well, you didn't. And I went home before it got too late since it was clear that you two were wanting some time alone together. This can't be happening. I was wondering if Tom was going to be okay to show up today. I thought he might have brought you along as his plus one or something. I tried calling to make sure he was okay, but when I didn't pick up, I was wondering if he was still at your place or something. So then, you really mean that you and I didn't spend last night together? And that I really just invited your friend over instead? Are you really asking me that? Why don't you just go look at the guy that you brought home and see for yourself? But he's in the bathroom puking since before I woke up. He drank too much last night and now he won't come out. Yeah, that sounds about right. He never really knew his limits when it comes to drinking. And I'm sure he was in the mood to drink even more after you told him how much you liked him. Anyways, once he's out puking his guts out, you should ask him. Tell him he owes me a bottle of something nice for missing the wedding too, okay? Alright then, Carla and I are off to getting married. <coughs> Carla, are you there? I'm in big, big trouble. The man in my bathroom finally walked out, and it wasn't actually Victor. I asked who he was, and he said he was Victor's friend Tom. Wow, he just walked out of the bathroom now? The wedding is almost over at this point. You mean that you two really got married? Uh-huh, duh. Why wouldn't we have? I mean, the bride and groom were here, and besides a couple of last minute cancellations, all the guests arrived too. It was sad seeing some of the chairs empty, but Victor and I just hoped it meant that you two were still enjoying getting to know each other. What are you talking about? I'm not going out with Tom. You think I want to be a drunk like him? But you two were all over each other last night. You even told him that you loved him. 
And then you invited him back to your place as well. I thought you two were going to go official any day now. I only said that because I thought that I was talking to Victor. I thought that I had stolen your husband away from you, but I got the wrong guy. I don't care about his stupid friend. I wanted Victor. As soon as I learned who he really was, I kicked that Tom guy out on the street and told him to get lost. You kicked Tom out of your place? Of course I did. Why would I want him around if he was never my target in the first place? I mean, he wasn't even good looking. Do you really mean all that? I don't think that's fair for you to be putting down someone just because you're upset that you made a drunken mistake. No, no, I finally remembered seeing Tom at the BBQ last summer. I remembered always thinking that he was a creepy little guy. You really mean that? Of course I do. He's so basic and weird and just... Why would I ever want to be with someone like him? I would rather be single for the rest of my life. Do you get it now? Wow, you have some strong feelings about this, huh? That's right. He's weird and he doesn't even have a good job. So I just don't see any benefits of being with someone like him. That's why I threw him out. And you really think that you're such a great catch? Because Tom is actually the son of a really famous CEO. But you really threw him out of your place? Wait, what did you just say? He's the son of a famous CEO? That's right. In fact, he's even been in commercials for his family's company before. He's the son of that real big estate company with billboards all over town. Hold on a second. Are you kidding me? Not at all. And to think that you were so close to getting to go out with him. Even Victor can't believe how you fumbled that. You made a lot of big mistakes this past 24 hours, huh? Oh, crap, crap, crap. This is really bad. I had no idea who he really was. I need to get him back right now. I'll tell him I was just hungover and I didn't mean what I said. Then he'll come back and everything will be okay. Yeah, I really don't think that's going to work. This is your story of how you almost landed a big one. But what should I do? This is all just one big mistake. I didn't mean to. Please, you have to help me. You're married to his best friend. You can fix this for me. Sorry, but I really don't have any good reasons why I should help you. You can't be serious, right? I mean, you said that we aren't really even friends, so I just don't see why I would. No, come on. You know that I didn't really mean that. I was just joking around. You can make up all the excuses you want, but I'm not going to be having any of it. Hope you have a nice life. And if you do somehow get Tom back, please don't try and hang out with us ever. But why not? It's really a shame that things had to end up this way between us, but I guess sometimes the sound of one door closing is really just another door opening. After that, Samantha tried her best to get Tom to take her back, but he wasn't having any of it. Once he learned that she only wanted him because she thought he was Victor, he lost all interest in her. He even blamed her for missing our wedding and said that he never wanted to see her again. It wasn't long before everyone knew about what Samantha had done. Tom come over to Victor and I's house to formally apologize for missing out the wedding. To make up for it, he agreed to pay for whatever hotel we decided to book our honeymoon at. Thank you for watching all the way until the end. If you felt good after watching this video, please like the video. If not, please leave a comment and give us your feedback. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Your comments and likes help this channel grow. We hope you enjoy our other stories as well.